Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an executable for PS2 games on your computer. It'll basically be a shortcut, but it'll function the same as any program or game shortcut you've placed on your desktop from Steam or wherever. This means you won't have to open your emulator and manually select a title every time you want to play a PS2 game. I'm going to assume you're already familiar with the basics of game emulation on PC, so I'm not covering that in this video. You will need PS2 game discs handy or downloaded ISOs, and an already functional emulator installed in order to follow along with the steps in the video. Let's take it from the top. Step 1. We're going to place our PS2 game disc in our disk drive. You'll probably see this window pop up thanks to auto run settings. Don't hesitate to close it. It's just showing you the files on the disk, but we don't need to do anything with them in that window. Next, we're going to create an image file or an ISO file from our PS2 game disk. To do this, you'll need a piece of freeware called ImageBurn. Again, it's totally free and extremely easy to use. I'll put a link in the description. Once the program opens, the only thing you need to click is this option right here, Create Image File from Disk. Go ahead and click. It should read your PS2 game disk automatically. Now, see where it says Destination? That's where we're going to be saving our ISO to. Click the browse icon so we can select where we'll save our new ISO file to. Navigate to where you want it. I strongly suggest actually having a dedicated ISO folder in your emulator root directly. Keeping things tidy is the key to making all of this work. Assuming you'll be doing this for a number of games, have set folders for everything makes it much easier. Also, make sure you have your emulator installed in an area where it doesn't require admin permissions to modify files. Otherwise, the end result simply will not work as desired. As you can see, I already have a number of games here. This is where I'll set the new one to create at. I also find it easier to make sure each ISO is properly named, cuts down on confusion later on. Once that window closes, go ahead and start the process. Some games are small and can be done in under 5 minutes, others can take up to 20 minutes. It seems Sphinx only took about 13. ImageBurn will let you know when your process is complete. Go ahead and click OK. Then open up Windows Explorer and navigate to your ISO folder and you'll see it there. Now we'll begin setting up the actual shortcut which will go directly on the desktop. Navigate back to your emulator's root directory, right click on the emulator's main executable and create a desktop shortcut for it. Now. Let's pop back into our ISOs and create a desktop shortcut for the one we want. Once that's there, open up the ISO shortcuts properties and copy everything in its target box, quotation marks and all. Go ahead and delete that shortcut, we will not need it anymore. It was just for us to quickly snag the ISO's target. Next, open up the emulator shortcut properties. Click on the target bar, hit spacebar once, then paste the ISO's target right in there. At the end of the target, put another space in there, and type two dashes followed by N-O-G-U-I, no GUI. This will prevent the emulator's graphical user interface from popping up as you launch a game. Now go ahead and click Change Icon. I had one all set and ready to go in my icons folder. I set up in my emulator's root. Select the one you want, click OK, then go to the general tab and rename the shortcut to match your game. Click OK and there it is. 
If you follow the steps correctly, double clicking on it should launch it immediately, no fuss. It works! I'm going to go ahead and back out with the escape key and move my new shortcut into my PS2 game library. Despite the fact that I still own a perfectly functioning PlayStation 2 and having played around with upscaling or HDMI converters like the kind you can buy from Amazon, this in my opinion, is still the definitive way to play uh, almost any PlayStation 2 game once you get it all sorted. At the end of the day, it's, it's actually easier to acquire old PS2 games on disc than it is finding a copy of the PC version. You don't even have to worry about compatibility or anything like that. Install a library of widescreen fixes for just about every game ever, Mess around with the image settings and your games will look vastly better than they ever have before. As a bonus, DualShock 4 controllers are compatible with Windows, uh, connectable even via Bluetooth. It ends up feeling like playing high def remasters of your favorite PlayStation 2 games on a PlayStation 4. If you have any questions about the process or are, if you're confused about anything in the video, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Or even if it just worked for you, I'd love to know. Enjoy your games and thanks for watching.